Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wes. Welcome all those that are new. Everyone else, welcome back into Stonehearth. And I think this is called the Death Death Falls Keepa, because I accidentally messed that up. Yeah, so Death Falls Keepa. Um, we're going to kind of take a break just for an episode or two of The Sims, just because I like to keep kind of content all over the place. And so other than that, I guess let's just jump right in. All right, so let's see what we've been up to recently. Looks like we have some food going on. We have a few farming hooks. We have this awesome building um, that's been built. Let's see, slicing, is it V? Yes. Um. Oh, and it's empty. It's a empty building. So we must have built this last episode in anticipation to kind of move in all of our, our uh, goblin comes into the town. Human pe peon, you know, understand the you do, yeah, you know, understand the might of the. Oh, I guess it's a goblin. You don't estimate the might of the Greenling army. Okay, you lucky to bow before me. Also, want some things to hold at night to sing me to sleep. Twelve oak logs, four mean beds, one wolf pelt, and nine spools of thread. Kind of sounds like a riddle. Um, see, um, as it means there's like some super zone camp. Oh, yeah, there's a big old camp right up there. So, since they can't get us, let's just say uh, no. What? Uh, what? You say no? Then we take, take all things. All right, well, good luck. All right, so <laughs> actually, that's probably not the best thing to do because they, they, the goblins like to attack. So, don't I have a stonemason? I do. Okay, so the stonemason can make me a tunnel door. Now, the tunnel doors are actually super reinforced compared to these wooden doors. So, this one only has 250, and I think they have uh, 480 in hit points, the door difference. So, we're going to make sure to uh, make sure that we have that... Ready. Okay, so we have. Oh no, they have wooden swords. Maybe I should have just. <laughs> maybe I should have accepted the request. Like, yeah, okay, you know what? Appeasement for right now. Um, I think something else that I was trying to do is this was also going to be a big storehouse. This other guild hall we kind of made. Uh that being said, I need to go back into the blacksmith or mason. You know, whichever. And make a few more chests. And it looks like we're actually really low on stone. Or we didn't get... I can't make that many. Because it's 2 and, you know, 10 is 20. So 16. We have, can't make, we have to make 7. Oh, no. We're going to make 2 more doors. Alright. So let's just go down to... Uh, sure, 3. 3 will be fine. Daily update. We made it. And we made it. Oh, my gosh. We did it. Hey. Are you any good at fighting? Whoops. No. You're triple 1 across the board. You're actually really lame. All right, well, I guess let's go ahead and let's let's mine some more. Because what we might end up doing is we might fortify the the gatehouse here, if you will. We'll put a door there, put a door there, and then kind of just keep it as such. In this case, we, we need more stone. And then another thing is what I'm thinking of is we can actually put a a door on here. And then close it off so that the goblins can't really get to us. Um, is that sliced? Be okay, I'm like, did we really mess that up on the roof? That bad on the building? No. Oh, because that's slice. I want building view. There we go. That's what I want to see. Hey, a blacksmith rolls in. Um, okay, but how much damage does it do? Let's buy two. You know what? Let's just buy two. Oh, he only has one. Okay, let's buy one. I think those do... Oh, wait a second. Dang it. Why did I buy one? Because we could, in theory, have made one, I think. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So that does 11 attacks. So let's actually make another one of those because, um, yeah, he'll go grab the hammer. Perfect. And then so instead of having these plastic swords or these wooden swords, they'll actually have some uh, stone malls to actually start beating on the goblin's head. So, I mean, there's that. Okay, so let's see. It looks like he built everything. The Yep. So let's see, did I, it looks like I did make this building this kind of uneven for a reason. Did I make it, was I smart enough so I could put a couple rows of chests on this side? 
Oh, yeah, that might make sense. And then, I guess, chests there, too? Alright, well... I mean, if I... I guess, if I plan for it, let's just go ahead and... Put some more down. Let's actually go queue up a few more, since we know that he's already made the doors. Um, and all. So, let's see... If 43, I don't know. Let's make a good, like, 15. Or 16. You know, that's fine. 16 is fine. Alright, now, back to the important part. Which is, I need to bring up these doors again. Okay, let's see, was it easy? Okay, I'm remembering again. So let's go ahead and rip up this door, or unemploy. Is that what it said? Yeah, unemploy. I'm gonna unemploy this door, it's no longer needed. I'm gonna fire it. Okay, replace it with... Okay, whoa, 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 okay. Put the this door there. Let's put that door there, and that door there. What is that noise? I guess it's frogs or something? I don't know, scary noise is scary. Alright, so now let's go back into the building tab. Let's grab, not split wall. Okay, okay, whoa. There we go. Grab the wall, and we'll just have them build a wall. Okay, well we don't want it to look like that. Come wall, it needs to be stone, it needed to be that stone, and the columns need to be dark stone, I think? Yeah, there we go, gunmetal. Alright, and so what we're gonna have them do is we're gonna have them build a wall. Really? Okay, build a wall from there to there, and then kind of rinse and repeat. So we have super fortified kind of gatehouses. Um, okay, you gotta be in build menu to see. Okay, so now that that's that... Um, you know what, we, we want this to almost be a roof, what we really do, because if we don't have this as a roof, we won't be able to see the inside the doors if we just put these blocks, and then that will be a problem in case something in the inside is fighting, and we won't be able to see kind of which door they're at. Um, alright, so then it should be roof, we'll actually just put one of these type of roofs on it. Go ahead and go, go across. There we go. Okay, that was bizarre. Alright, and then we'll just adjust accordingly. Okay, so what if we bring this in like such? Whoops. Alright, that's not bad. And then we just bring this back all the way back. There we go. Doesn't look... Looks pretty even. Oh, and I guess if we push this out more, that becomes even more? No. Push that in, push that in. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Um, you know what? What if we do one of these? Make it bigger here. Uh, no. Alright. That will work. And then we'll just, um, see, it doesn't really matter for these, but I believe if I make this a wall, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then, you know, since you can manipulate the walls, if you just shrink them down. <laughs> Perfect. And then we just rinse and repeat on this side with the same wall. Like such. And then bring this down. Perfect. So now we have kind of like this little gatehouse that will be super reinforced. Um, I think at some point, too, we'll build like battlements in hopes that they can shoot from them. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's build this, right? We have all this stuff needed. We just need fort stone. Yeah, perfect. Almost hit delete. Don't do that. Okay. Now, remind me, game. After I've done building, where's my build button? Seriously. Oh, there it is. Build! Perfect. Alright, and they're gonna go straight to work since we have a lot of people, um, I guess not doing anything right now. Perfect! Wow, they're gonna be done in like four seconds. I mean, I'm only on times two. If I go to times three, it's just gonna get substantially quicker. Alright, so it looks, it looks like it was break time, apparently, for the entire... Whoops, I gotta remember, it's not split, it's this. The entire family. We have 13 people, I don't... I think that's 12? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, yeah, okay. Hey, daily update, and... No, not even remotely close with the net worth. Alright, well, you know, we'll, we'll sell more stuff. Alright, where are you guys? Oh, you guys just threw down the wall. Wall number one. Oh, there's number... There's the side walls. Okay, perfect. And then that means you guys are just going to go ahead and build 
the the roof next. Simple clothing merchant, no thanks. Okay, so do we have a a tailor? No. The best we have is a level something carpenter, and he it's not that high of a level. Okay, so let's find something that's worth a pretty decent amount, and then I guess just sell it because we need we need a higher net worth. All right, so this is all. It's okay that that sells for 18, but that's again, it's it's just one. Um, this sells for a lot, but oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, do we really only have five stone left? All right. Well, he'll make us some of those, and that's what we'll sell. Um, if that's the case, let's go ahead and split, and then yeah, you guys, you guys already mined all this stuff out. Um, all right. Well, I guess the only other thing to do that I can think of is we'll go this way um with it and then we'll just kind of just make this a giant quarry and then we'll just kind of start digging down 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 in a spiral and take care of that all right so as they're doing that let's see okay so this is done oh that actually looks really cool with the yeah well wow, that's neat <laughs> i didn't even expect that okay so now that we have this gatehouse we know that there's a door on the outermost innermost and center uh, and that will be important because if for whatever reason the goblin army we're going to attack, assuming we've blocked off our entire place properly, which looks like that's the case, uh, they'll have to break through all three doors, which either means we'll be able to intercept or give us enough time to kind of hide and regroup, which, you know, whichever comes first. And that reminds me, since we have more and more people and it looks like we have quite a few workers... Uh, I think it's time that we promote another person to uh, defend right now, since we know that at some point there might be an attack, and it's good just to get them up right now. So this guy, or girl, I can't really uh, tell, uh, has six spirit or six health, which means uh, <clears throat> they're quickly, will quick learn, oh, they'll learn quickly. Um, physical means uh, how much they'll move, they'll move a bit faster and attack harder. So if that's the case, then um, this guy named is Tardan. Tardan Wester with the magnific magnificent beard actually needs to be one that we will go ahead and change job, which will be easy since we know we have... Okay, why wouldn't I have wooden swords when they swapped over? All right, well, I mean, that's not too big of a problem. We'll just go ahead and make another wooden sword, assuming I know what I'm doing with all these buttons. And crafting one of those is my friend. And then blacksmith. And by blacksmith, I mean mason. Go ahead and craft me one of those. Um, to get a blacksmith, we need a level... I think it's level 4 mason. Um, Let's check that. Because he needs to be able to make this one. Um, Okay, well, let's make one just to make sure. As far as the hammer. And I think it's a level 2 or 3... Uh, a stone mason. If that's the case, we'll have to promote we'll promote someone else, and then from there we will take care of that. All right, my friend. I think I see your sword there. Uh, I guess I'm lying. What was that? Uh, oh, maybe I saw your mall. Okay. Well, there he is. Okay. Like, where's my my carpenter? There he is. Okay. Now for sure, my friend. There you are. Uh, we'll go ahead and change your job that's not how you do that okay this button this button and that button there you go buddy sorry about no armor okay so he should grab that and immediately turn around and grab this yep there he goes <laughs> sweet and he'll go ahead and join the the party um and he has uh damage up 20 percent because you know he knows about combat uh which actually reminds me is there anyone let's see other than that giant camp can we find well, this rain's not helping at all. Do we know of any other giant like camps or smaller outcroppings of enemies that we could potentially go try to level up our guys on without particularly taking over the entire armada of goblins that are up above us? Because so far that looks like no. Okay, well, I mean, if that's the case, then let's just go back and we'll keep fortifying and growing. Um, food didn't seem to be a problem. It seemed to be net worth, which is... Um, Something we can take care of a few ways. Uh, the easiest way is just to build another building because the buildings increase your net worth quite a bit. So this little structure should have increased our, our net worth quite a bit as well. 
Um, I don't know what I really need right now. I don't think I really need a building. The only thing I can think of is like just making decorative roads everywhere. Um, and that might work. So let's go ahead and just go back into the build tab. Let's do that. Let's see what kind of roads do we want? How about this? This one's a cool pattern. All right, then we'll just pull a road from there. And I guess just go over this far. And then we know from here, it's going to need to be four like such. Um, and then in theory, we can just build this path all the way up uh, to, I guess, there. And then we can finish this and connect this one um, when we have enough. But for now, since it's good to just have a bunch of roads leading to the same places, we'll kind of just do one of these. Uh, assuming that's the door. Yeah, okay, there it is. Um, okay, so let's pull this out since we're anticipating that okay so now that we know where that's gonna run to let's go ahead and just whoops don't click that click this is it y click this whoops you need to space that out one more which is fine whoa engineer i broke something uh was it daily update nope it must be the trader trader approaches the town if you give me five garden hose i will give you five wooden garden lanterns sure buddy Oh, oh, so close. Oh, man. We should have just start building the road, and then we might have made it by then. Why are you having problems? What's wrong with this road? You're not going to let me build now because of this problem. But yet, I don't know what the problem is, other than you're red, because you can't be... Okay. Um, You know what? I'm going to hit a race, and it's going to race all of this. Lame. I wonder what... Maybe because I was touching... The corner of that? Alright, well, I guess let's try this again. So we know that from here, we don't want the... No erasing. Let me put down. There we go. Okay, so we'll go this way a little bit. Go this way. What? What? What is your problem now? Oh, is it because I actually made this four? Yeah, okay. I just hate how I can't... Manipulate. Let me... Other than, I mean, completely erasing. Can I put a hole through them? No. Dang it. I guess don't mess up on your roads, because apparently it's really unforgiving. Um, okay. Let's try this, you know, six more times in hopes of for something. Okay, so two. Two goes out that far. Or three. It should be three wide. We'll, uh... Go back. Oh, I guess I could be using, like, the, um, control. Like, control Z to go back a few. Okay, so I guess if that's the case, then we'll just have it go that far. Go ahead and bring this down. Like such. Um, I don't know how far. I mean, we can make this pretty far down. Let's go ahead and do that. Whoops. Let's connect that there. Um, I do want this road, though, to kind of be a little bit higher. There we go. Okay, so that's not touching anything. That's not touching anything. Um, and then we can kind of make town square kind of in the center when we kind of connect everything but that should be better than nothing let's go ahead and click build and you're not going to complain okay perfect perfect let's actually harvest this because we're going to need to but no one's going to be around to harvest it <laughs> all right so let's let's just increase the speed um it's actually neat to see them all working on a different area uh they're gonna have to they're gonna come through these doors and fall down <laughs> just for a little bit until we can start building I don't even check if we had enough stone. I think we did. I didn't see. I also don't see the red question mark like, hey, not enough. Sweet, they're all taking a corner. <laughs> all right, grab the stone. Oh, cool. Are they all just going to start on different corners? Oh, uh, kind of. I was hoping someone would start like that corner and that corner, and then I'll just kind of build up. But it looks like, I mean, they're doing it, so it doesn't matter. And so these roads will kind of, they the roads will increase the hearthling's speed. And that will kind of just help them navigate a lot better because they do they do pathfind in regards to they'll find where the roads are and they'll and they'll follow them more than just kind of walking across grass since they know that it increases speed. Yeah, kind of like that. You can already see them doing it. Yep, to get to the paths and since they they can, uh, I think it's like a two times speed boost for them on the roads. But don't quote me on that. All right, no more X writing. Was the mistake. There we go. Okay, so I mean that's that. 
But it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be time for me to call it quits here uh, in, in Stonehurst. So thank you all those that are new that have been tuning in. Thank you for everyone else that's coming back. Hopefully you guys know you are awesome. And I guess that's all I got for today. So, oh, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, as always, keep it real. Yeah.